Hello there, Aquarius, and welcome to your Oracle messages. I hope you're doing well out there, Aquarius. And of course, Aquarius, we're going to be finding out all that we can when it comes to your current situation for Aquarius and Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So Aquarius, let's see. We've got, uh, you know what's coming through is Eight of Swords, actually, and possibly maybe Seven of Swords, only in the aspect that we may not be seeing all that we need to see, so just remain positive no matter what. Some of you, there may be something about um, not seeing something as being stuck or restricted right now, okay? Don't give in to that thinking. Now, some of you, Aquarius, there may have been a situation where We've been really hurt or we've been struggling with something or someone so this might be a time to redirect that energy and put it to good use because there's something going on where you could be blocking something here right um, especially when it comes to overcoming a fear um, because i feel a lot of you will come into some type of clarity or some some type of breakthrough is at hand now don't deny your, your strengths right now, right? Acknowledge that your fear can be replaced with the insight of awareness because who's the one that's aware of the fear in the first place? That's you. That's the real you, the observer, the one that's aware, the one that has now seen something for what it is and now we can be at a place of being neutral with it because now it doesn't have so much power. There may be something here where a lot of you have been choosing the right things or choosing things that are good for your well-being and health is so good for you, because I'm kind of sensing justice as well with Eight of Swords coming through. So yeah, a lot of swords going on here. So accepting responsibility for your well-being um, and letting that just be your first step uh, right now in everything. Okay. So there's something about, um, you Aquarius having control over something that maybe you don't feel that you do have control in. So just hang in there. Okay. Let's see what else for Aquarius. Loneliness. Hmm. I was going to talk about some of these colors, how all of these colors are coming together you know, you don't think all these colors would look good together, but then they come together and they do look together. So, you know, there's something about you being uh, unique and um, well blended though, okay? So some of you, there could be something with feeling uh, lonely in a situation here, okay? Know that you're never alone. Let's get a little bit more about this loneliness for Aquarius. Now, some of you, not all of you, if you've been struggling maybe with resources, money, time, and energy, this is where you are uh, taking uh, a new stand, okay? And if you want change, then I would su suggest standing in this place where, you know, you're just choosing wisely for yourself, no matter what, what's good for your uh, mental health, your emotional health, your physical health, all of it, right? And watch your world really start shifting and changing for the better. Let's get a little bit more with that loneliness for Aquarius. Love, you got love coming. I was gonna say it, but I wanted to make sure. So something, uh, okay, speaking of five of pentacles, the five of pentacles can show up because something was faded here. Um, and that means that you have found a path or you're currently finding your path right now because of some type of situation where we had to feel a little stuck possibly in life or challenged in life, okay? Because it's helping you <clears throat> commit to a practice of seeing the good in all things, even in the things that maybe we don't like about others, okay? <laughs> because I can tell that there may have been something that has happened uh, with you, Aquarius, um, with others where they, yeah, things were out of integrity, right? And you're learning so much about integrity uh, and what it means to you. I, I really feel like justice may come out, but if it's not, I feel like justice uh, card is here, okay? With some type of commitment in love or an alignment of love for you, some type of 
soulmate, a partner, companion here that is, um, you know, going to support you and your highest good for a lot for a lot of you. Okay, now for some of you, Aquarius, already involved in love, you know, I can see that we're really shifting um, and healing a situation and and bringing solutions uh, towards the situation that we're committed to. Right, being in love, seeing the good in all things. If you practice seeing good, the good in all things right now as just your first step, you're going to see a lot of things start magically shift um, and appear. And I feel a lot of you, there could be something about seeing things where they really come into focus for you. So pay attention to those things that really focus in for you um, visually, okay? Because I feel it has significant meaning to you. And I'm getting something about some of you Aquarius might be already doing this or you might be guided to doing this. Something about mon the mandalas and art or um, what is that? Ge a sacred geometry, okay? <clears throat> Coloring. I can. S there's something about you with that, okay? <clears throat> what else for Aquarius? Failure. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. Yeah, we do. We feel like we failed at something. We feel like we shouldn't be going through a struggle or a challenge, right? <clears throat> but the thing is, is waking up to seeing an, a failure or a mistake as an opportunity to grow and learn from it um, and to hopefully not repeat it again, right? And if we do repeat it, well, you'll get through it quicker than the first time, <laughs> okay? So Spirit's saying a lot of you Aquarius don't focus on failure um, and, you know, know that you are turning some type of failure into some type of success here. What else for Aquarius? Regret. I'm sensing five of cups here. I was getting it with that failure too. I almost, oh, regret or maybe rejection, maybe having to reject others or feeling rejected. Either way, you know, you are in a place of just accepting, you know, things that you can't change, right? Can't You can't change the past. We know this. So Spirit is letting you know that a lot of you, you're, you're you could be, you need to be careful for some, not all of you, especially if it's been a little bit hard to get out of the mind and the heart, uh, out of sad regret, living in the past here, okay? Uh, there's going to be a new opportunity for you. So let's get a little bit more with this regret for Aquarius. I'm seeing you being a pillar of light here too, okay? You're meant to stand strong, okay? Holding all of these candle lights with others around the world. It's like this shield of protection here. So there's a lot going on here. And a lot of you Aquarius have that ability and that energy to send a lot of ener good energy to the galaxy, to the earth, to the inhabitants of the earth. Let's get a little bit more. With, oh, I was getting this with the regret. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get more with this regret for Aquarius. Solitude. Yeah, just take some time in silence. Peace prevails. Okay, so don't see your lo loneliness time as, you know, a time to live in regret. That's a time for you to really soak up and milk that peace, okay? And I feel that there may have been some type of drama or fighting here or some something going on here where you may need to just withdraw for the time being here, right? So that you can gain some type of inner strength. What else for Aquarius? I love myself and I see myself in everyone. So you're going to realize that you're testing your resolve to live in the energy of fear. So <clears throat> there's something that you're going to be proud of here. Okay. 
Now, I do sense strength card coming through with this, so Leo energy is coming through. This is a time that you need to be proud of yourself. Take pride in what you're doing and what you're accomplishing, even if it is by yourself, okay? Um, I feel that a lot of you are going to come into a place where maybe if you do feel different alone or, you know, not so connected, you will, you will, right? You're allowing some type of energy to be very fluid here. You're resolving things and you're allowing the energy of love to outweigh the fear. Notice what I just said, outweigh the fear. Think of justice card with the balance. So on one scale, we've got the fear on the other scale. We got love. You know which one's more powerful is going to be the love, right? So <clears throat> you're going to outweigh that, that fear. So right now, or in the past, recently, a lot of you Aquarius, it's been a lot in, you know, going with this fear or some type of struggle here, which it's okay. We all go through that, but you're adjusting your skills right now by giving it and giving yourself a lot of love. Okay. Being proud of yourself, right? Being able to, you know, see and honor one's mistake, maybe see the humor in life. Okay. Uh, maybe see how, you know, we're just all imperfectly perfect, right? <laughs> just, I feel a lot of you, you'll come into, if not yet now, just a lot more understanding and compassion for others because you know that there's something very strong, um, meant uh, for you here. So there's like a, a situation where I just keep seeing that, um, the, the lion in the strength card here. Okay. Where you've got leadership qualities. You might be, you know, fearing things or will be fearing things because it's pushing you to be a lot more strong <laughs> and go into places that, you know, are unfamiliar, but you've, you're ready for it. What else for Aquarius? self-esteem. See, you do possess uh, gifts of the soul that benefit yourself and others. See, it's like that pride, that lion, right? <clears throat> so it's a time for a lot of you Aquarius to shift your awareness towards the things that you are really proud of. Okay. And maybe that takes, uh, you know, move, removing yourself from distractions that take you away from honoring how far you have come, not what you failed at. <clears throat> what else? Imagination and purpose. Look at this. Nice. Embracing and nourish. Okay. Embrace and nourish the creative aspect of your mind more with the love energy, with the balancing of the scales, let's put imagination in there too, <clears throat> and your purpose. <laughs> Cause you know what you're, you're here to do, or you're really, uh, you know, finding it and being very clear about it soon. So do things that nourish your creative aspect. And see, this is why I was getting something on mandalas, you know, sacred geometry, maybe just doing something different, right? Reading, drawing, maybe just, closing your eyes and listening to the sounds of nature to get inspired here. What else? The other thing I'm getting to with the imagination and purpose is your dreams are going to be realized here. So a lot of you Aquarius, uh, try not to attach how you're going to get some things in life uh, because it's going to happen in the divine order that it's meant to. You just keep following what, you know, your soul is guiding you to do because you're right where you need to be. We got like five of wands. Yeah, I kind of sense that too in the worry. Okay, so I am the same as everybody with different challenges. I'm learning that worry doesn't change any outcome. There, there's a lot of conflict going on because we may be doing too excessive things um, when it comes to worry or we're just putting our energy or surrounding ourselves with people or situations that only add to more conflict and drama with oneself. So pay attention. That's why I was saying a lot of you... Aquarius are in a place of needing to be in great discernment here because I'm like sensing moon energy. Okay. So yeah, a lot of you, you're sensing a lot more going on with others. Um, I feel a lot of you know, and know, you know, what the visions that you hold true for you. 
But with that moon energy, it's going to stir a lot of, you know, worry and conflict, right? And your dreams are coming true here. So um, I would say if any of you are feeling <clears throat> like you're lacking the speed when it comes to your dreams, uh, the time to let that go. It's happening in the, the order that it needs to happen for you. So let go of worry because worry doesn't change an outcome. What else for Aquarius? Friendship, understanding that a friend is in your life for a reason, okay? So a reason, a season, a lifetime. Let's get a little bit more about friendship for Aquarius. Service, I feel good when I can help others. Look, connecting with others. Yeah, I'm getting like two of cups, maybe even six of cups with six of pentacles. Connecting with acquaintances, friends, family, online or, you know, in real life that help you with your energy of giving, right? So just focus right now on maybe a friend or a neighbor or a family member, big or small. It doesn't have to be too many people. Uh, if you start shifting and focusing, um, you know, on servicing others, that's going to help a lot of you get out of maybe some type of, you know, block or funk. Okay. <clears throat> and you'll never know. You can meet a lot of people doing something that is really meaningful for you. What else for Aquarius? This one wants to come out. Three of Wands, planning for the long term. Okay, so you need to stop doing something or ignore something here. Work. Okay, first off, let, let's look in the future. This is the past over here. Planning for the long term. Okay, so start planning for the long term so that can help you focus on the future for some of you. Uh, and uh, some of you, you already have, okay? and past efforts are working out abundance from past choices speaking of abundance from past choices even if you don't see it all right now right now in this moment your choices by choosing to focus on the positive or the good or just not giving your awareness to you know the past that's blame regret you know failure you're gonna win okay because you're gonna get abundance from that Pro okay, this is no joke. See, I knew it. <clears throat> this card of pride. Look at what this says on the Three of Wands. We've got Aries, Leo, Sagittarius coming through. Pride in the success of your labors. See that over here? Be patient in, wait, be patient as you decide what's next. So you do need to be patient because, and decide what ne what's next, because this is about indecision here. Being un unable or unwilling to make a decision, just follow your own heart rather than trying to make others happy. Oh, some of you guys might be trying to please others too much and you need to steer clear from that right now. That's not the path for you right now. Mm -mm. <clears throat> okay, so take that if it resonates. Or some of you, you need to really... Block out some time for yourself because you're overdoing it too much. Follow your own heart rather than trying to make others happy. Pretending there is no problem. Mm. So some of you don't try to pretend there's no problem. Remember, there's that eight of swords that I'm picking up too. So, you know, you could just be overanalyzing a situation rather than just taking action or just doing something that you want for the time being until a solution can arise itself. So do that. But let go of the burdens as quickly as as possible. <clears throat> now, some of you, you could be in a place of being in, indecisive about what to do because your energy is all scattered everywhere here. So you need to take time to recollect yourself. What else? Indecision. Wow. This is what this two of swords is over here. Use your intuition in all aspects of your life. Here it is. Follow your own heart rather than trying to make others happy. Okay. If you try to make others happy, you're not following, you know, something that's aligned with you. 
forgiveness acknowledging that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love Ooh, and we got someone that we're blocking <laughs> okay so you know just follow your heart now some of you you know you can release some type of things or resentment to hurt that you've been harboring or whatever it is maybe it's just procrastination okay just let it go if you want love and you want to feel love and you want to feel nourishment doesn't necessarily mean you're calling someone to love but you want to feel nourished by the the universe then start letting those things go okay and i feel a lot of you you have been and you're seeking some type of truce within yourself and yeah maybe possibly a truce with another but the most important is having truce with oneself so that we are letting go of anything that could block abundance and love to you because you know better i'm also noticing how this veil that she's wearing <clears throat> is very very sheer if not it's like see-through i mean you know see-through here so the veil is very thin between the spiritual realm and you so seek and ask guidance if you need to now if you've been over analyzing too much then you know you just need to stop doing that okay and give yourself some space and time and then something will arise here for you to go with what else death i'm learning that endings are merely beginnings so we've got to put something to an end right we got the ten of wands here which is laying down the burdens the end of struggles okay so something we have scorpio energy coming through here the end of hard hard times end of struggles difficult times the end of loneliness maybe the end of some friendships and relationships because new ones are on the horizon what else So we've got being loyal, dedicated, protective, apprehensive, plan carefully before taking action, okay? But then get going. So some of you just take a little time, pay attention to details or what's going on. Get more information if you need to, but then, you know, make be willing to make a move, right? You can also just, you know, wait for that perfect opportunity. A guardian angel or someone who is watching over you and your plans here, okay? So there may be a need to just go a little bit slower. Remember, you are planning for the long term. This is where we need to be. So plan and make decisions for the long term because you're manifesting material gains here. And yes, something strong about a friend, a companion, someone that you can trust nice ah oh, we got the ace of pentacles nice because this is this whole thing about the three of wands abundance from past choices look a windfall of abundant ab excuse me of abundance wise counsel or good fortune this is because of past choices some type of wise investment some type of prosperity is coming towards you okay an exciting career opportunity a lucrative contract I was getting that justice energy too so justice speaks of contracts significant purchases like a home or a vehicle nice see things that you are proud of okay what else for aquarius trust right accepting that your inner voice will always guide you correctly I mean look at you <laughs> it's like you're you're back to this place of innocence like a child okay and you're on your you're on the right path trust trust in yourself too what else wow we even have ten of cups 
and the Eight of Pentacles. A lot about commitment here too. A happy marriage, happy home life, a happily ever after. See what, look at why your worries are unnecessary. Emotional contentment, a loving relationship with your children, raising children wisely and successfully and people you can trust. That's this Knight of Pentacles. <laughs> oh. And learning all you can about a subject or a career, okay? So some of you, if you've been doing something and it's been feeling tedious and you've been doing it over and over, just stay on course. You're doing something good and skillful and you're just getting better and better at it, okay? And it's paying off. <clears throat> Going back to school, taking a seminar or finding a mentor or, you know, learning all you can about something that you enjoy or love to do. Attention to detail, skilled work that you love. So if you're not doing that, you're finding the path um, to do so. But a lot of you, you're being encouraged to keep going here because there is like this path that's like a concrete path that's leading to, you know, love, commitment, stability, so something good here. Okay, what else for Aquarius? There could be something about like working with family or working with um, friends that feel like family for some of you or someone's helping you. <laughs> okay, tread thoughtfully. Yeah, you do need to tread thoughtfully because you're expanding your horizons. I do feel that a lot of you are changing and there could be a lot where, you know, Aquarius, you're changing and, and people are maybe, you know, challenged by that but that's okay. Okay. So just, you know, keep things to yourself. You may need to just kind of, you know, patiently go or do something here, but you are expanding your horizons, which is giving you a lot of fun. And look, the ships, look at that ship coming in and we have the three <laughs> wands. See, your ships are coming in. So a lot of you Aquarius have earned your spot okay or you're really close to hitting some type of milestone when it comes to leadership or hitting a status or something important especially when it comes to your work your life path your purpose okay what else guilt release any belief that no longer assists in your soul's growth right this is what you're putting a death to you're ending feeling guilty. Ooh, that's that 10 of wands too. Guilt is one of the worst emotions, you know, it really can hold you in a place, but you're not going to allow it to assist or you're not going to allow it to, you know, be a part of your soul's growth. This is why there's this young energy for life here. What else for Aquarius? We're just talking about growth. Oh my goodness. This is so funny. Spirit's funny. Yeah. Growth. Okay. I want to expand con my consciousness and my awareness and you're building something solid or you're going to be shown something where you can build something solid for yourself. Okay. Where you can feel good and uh, proud of. <clears throat> what else? Discipline. You've got to use discipline here. And some of you, it's discipline for solitude, okay? Maybe we're just around too many things or too many people, distractions, whatever, right? You've got to stay strong, though. Watch out for burnout, okay? But your your past efforts are going to pay off big time. But you do need to, um, you know, focus your mind here on the right things, right? Because you can accomplish what you whatever you set your mind to because your mind is that powerful, and embrace and nourish that creative aspect of your mind and you're not going to go wrong. This is where you get to plant those seeds. Okay. Cause what I see is a dandelion and I'm seeing you putting as you're using your imagination for whatever it is that you want to do, like to do, it's actually planting seeds in the spiritual realm. Okay. And when you do that, it starts to materialize in the earthly realm. Eight of pentacles. Knight of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, and I'm also picking up Three of Pentacles. So you may be connecting with others, whether it's going to be partners or however it is, you're going to be connecting with others that serves your growth, okay? 
in all aspects of your life. What else? <clears throat> Six of Swords, see the end of challenging times, the end of difficult times, struggles. Thank God. <laughs> Things are looking up. A welcome relief in finding a, your way to a peaceful place. The end of depression or illness. Well, yeah, I can see that because we had that regret, you know, not feeling so good here. Travel or relocation. If that offers its, itself to you and it feels right and good, then do it. What else? Balance, bringing a state of perfect harmony into your world and you're doing it without judgment. I kind of see that with the smooth sailing type of uh, card here, right? Because it does take great balance to make sure that we're, you know, we got that boat balance and we're not tipping over. Okay, so... Um, spirit is just saying, you know, just kind of maintain a sense of being neutral about a situation, right? You don't need to make others wrong or make yourself right or make others right and yourself wrong. Just don't. It, this is a time where you can just let it go and let it be your, your past and beyond that situation because you've really outgrown it. What else? Health. Yeah. Honor the physical vessel that enshrines your soul. So a lot of you, you are doing things and choosing things that are healthy, wise, okay? For the most part, so good. Some of you just, if you don't know what to focus on, focus on things that make you feel good, right? That improve your health, that improves your physical vessel, that enshrines your beautiful, gifted soul. So I, I see big improvement with health, okay? right? Because you might be feeling a little beat up here and tired, exhausted all over the place. We may need to ask for help for some, okay? What else? Okay, that's it for those. So Aquarius, let's find out what you got to look forward to in the near future. What does Aquarius have to look forward to in the near future? <laughs> Following your bliss. Uh, I wish I would have said that. Well, I was going to, you know, this one was like, well, I was getting, uh, this is navigating by the stars. What you have to look forward to is following your bliss. And it's like, you know, staying committed and devoted to the things that you truly love, the people that you love and focus on that. Okay. And watch it start expanding more and more into your life. Your disappointment is about to turn into your greater, greatest blessing. You're going to be following your bliss, your purpose. This is like star card energy to me, okay? And knowing what you're here to do because you're that powerful. You're not, you know, a lot of you, you know, take this if it resonates. Well, I was like getting this saying where, you know, you know exactly what it is you, you, you would like to do. So you need to not care about what others think about you, what you like, what you want to do. And I'm not saying all of you are caring what, what, what others you know, think of you, but don't let that start to burden you. Okay. Don't be a people pleaser, be a you pleaser. Okay. <laughs> so let's find out how spirit is uh, helping you. How is spirit helping Aquarius? Oh, with grief. Yeah, letting it go and having acceptance here, learning to accept the things that you cannot change and really turning your grief into a tool because something I was noticing and I wasn't going to bring it up, but now I am, <clears throat> was these swords that they're using and the swords, you know, are finally something that we've like a sword in our mind or our heart. We've taken that out and now we're using it as a wise tool. You notice that? How we've transformed the sword into uh, helping us row this boat into the direction we want it to go into. 
And that's exactly what, where you're at. And this is what's bringing profound relief, uh, a blessing because spirit's helping you let go of something or understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. And once again, okay, because you're not going to be denied of something, okay, just may show up in a different way, different form, different time, and that's okay. Let's get one more for how spirit's helping you. Because I feel like you're kind of going through it, Aquarius, really. How else is spirit helping Aquarius? Because I feel a lot of you Aquarius are just going to have to like, you know, maintain a sense of tolerance, composure, and poise, keep things to yourself because, you know, you don't want others influencing your dreams, your visions, your goals, right? Because the last thing you need is negativity put into that. Spirit's helping you surrender to the journey, releasing the control or the need to control, right? To feel fluid. And look, she's on that boat. Oh my gosh, look, that six of swords. Where are you? Look. And notice it's a swan because you're beautiful and graceful, Aquarius, okay? Your mind is the one that's navigating this boat. Keep your mind in that grace, okay? <laughs> and fluid, so I hope that was helpful. Love and light. Take care.